And welcome back to Kyle Corner, the University of South Dakota football program. It 30 athletes on National Signing Day last week. And here to talk a little bit more about that is head coach of the couch, Joe Glenn. And Joe, uh, always, I'm sure, as a football coach, feels good when you get all those signatures in and you can relax a little bit from the recruiting process. There is kind of a finish line uh, to the recruiting and the signing date. But no sooner do you finish, then you got to start recruiting <laughs> yeah. for next year. I have an old cliche that we've always used. If it's like shaving. Recruiting is, if you don't do it every day, you look like a bum. <laughs> so anyway, we're, we're already started on next year. And uh, certainly you gather your junior list and we'll be out spring recruiting after spring ball. So, uh, but feel great about the guys that signed up with us. Well, I know your philosophy has been pretty simple and, and, and you've tried to stick to it. And it is that you want to recruit from the steps, and this is a quote from you, yeah. the, from the steps of Old Main on out. And uh, that's pretty apparent with the guys that you got. Six from South Dakota, six from Illinois, five from Iowa, three from Nebraska, and the list goes on. But uh, the point is these families can, can see their guys play college football, right? I, that's been, um, it, it goes back to the Joe Salem era or maybe even before that. But you look, try and look at, what was successful when the, this university had the best football teams? Mm -hmm. And Dave Triplett, uh, Joe Salem, those guys, I think, they, they built from inside out and mm -hmm. get South Dakota boys that you can get that can help you and then keep working out from there. And uh, you try and find an area maybe that you don't have every team in the league recruiting. And, uh, but uh, what, whatever, we got uh, 25 guys uh, signed to scholarships, another five guys signed uh, letters of intent to attend uh, our university and um, we're really excited about it. Uh, let's take a look positionally and, and obviously some big losses in the secondary and that as a result was a, was a big uh, part of the effort in recruiting nine defensive backs you guys signed. Yeah, I think um, in that group we, we have what we call an athlete category, but a lot of these guys are 6'2 or better. Uh, they can all run. Uh, we had a lot of them in camp. Uh, put a stopwatch on them in camp, um, timed everybody in camp and uh, timed some drills that they were doing. And um, it just, uh, we got some athletes that uh, got to be able to help us somewhere. And we, um, we think we got guys that <laughs> can do special teams when you get athletes like this. Uh, they're inside, outside linebacker types, safety, strong safety types. So uh, a lot of guys in that category. All right, well, and real quickly, Joe, with all these guys in mind, pick a couple that, that could be immediate impact guys, guys that could help you right away in 2014. Well, we went to the junior college ranks for a few guys. Um, Eric Schuford is a wide receiver that's already here and turned it up in the weight room and is a punt return, kickoff return uh, wide receiver. He had about uh, over 1,000 yards at San Bernardino Community College last year. Nickname is Munchie. We'll have fun with that one. And uh, two corners, Michael Lilly from uh, Santa Ana Junior College, the Dons, love it. And uh, Chris Tyler from uh, Iowa Western, where he played down a national championship two years ago. He's an Omaha North kid, so got Omaha. And then uh, we did get a defensive lineman uh, from California named Mason Reese. Uh, big dude, good basketball player, he says. And uh, he came in and committed and signed with us. So uh, big 290 pound uh, defensive line guy, that, he should help us a lot. All right, well thanks a lot, Joe. Well, congratulations Thank on you. the recruiting class and uh, we look forward to seeing him uh, get out on the field. Thanks, Jay. All right, well that is our time for this week. The basketball teams, remember, will be back at it this weekend against Fort Wayne and on Thursday and IUPUI on Saturday, women at home, men, on the road. We're course, be back here to break it all down for you next Tuesday night on another episode of Kyle Corn.